The release of Season 8 for Sea of Thieves is a dream come true for any PvP-centric pirate. Let me explain real quick. By using the new Hourglass of Fate, players can decide on a faction they wish to pledge your allegiance to, and by doing so they opt themselves into on-demand PvP. Then you can either choose to actively invade other servers, or you can stay on the defensive and wait for ships to come to you. As we all know, if you are to stand any chance in battle against other crews, you will require supplies, so that is what I started with. I quickly looted the island I spawned at for anything useful, then I headed towards Galleon's Grave. You see, today I was solo slooping, and I admit, I'm no god at PvP, so I decided to gather as much supplies as I could before heading into battle. After looting Galleon's Grave, I jumped back onto my ship and I flipped the Hourglass of Fate and I joined forces with the Servant of Flame. Afterwards, I headed out to the open sea and I dived down below the waves. Now I was coasting along under the waves, but before I could orientate myself, my ship resurfaced. I had found a target, and the battle was on. I quickly spotted my opponent, however, something was wrong. They were not firing upon me. And that is when I spotted the second slip. Why is there two? Oh fuck! As it turns out, I had popped up in the middle of a chase, and I actually saved the sloop that I fired upon first. It just goes to show, you never truly know how these things are going to play out. After the initial shock, I gathered myself and I began to exchange cannon fire with my opponent. However, I was much more accurate with my shots, which forced him to back off. But before I knew it, he was on my ladder, trying to climb aboard. I quickly pulled out my sniper rifle and I shot him, then I sliced him with my sword to finish him off. When we came around again, we fired upon each other, my cannonballs hitting the mark each time, and that is when I spotted a mermaid in the water. The crazy guy had jumped off his ship again, but he completely missed and he only managed to throw some firebombs onto my ship. After taking care of the fire, I decided I wanted to show him how it was done, so I loaded myself into the cannon and I fired myself off. But before I could reach him, his ship sunk. Oh well. Better luck next time, sir. After gloating about my victory, I grabbed some more supplies and I dived down below the waves once again. But just like last time, I found a target nearly instantly, and my ship resurfaced. This time, I was facing a Great Five Athena. If I could sink this ship and take his flag, it would net me a huge bonus in both XP and gold. Once again, the fight was on. With supplies to waste, I quickly shot as many cannonballs as I could, each one hitting the mark, forcing him to turn away. I quickly gave chase, and that is when I spotted something peculiar. Uh, buddy, you're about to drive off the, the map. Uh, you better turn around, or else you're gonna die. Uh... Oh god. Now you might think to yourself, no but why is that important and why would you tell him that? Well you see in this game mode there's a circle surrounding us and if you drive outside the circle your ship sinks. And I simply didn't want to win that way, it wouldn't feel satisfying. Call me insane if you like. After he had turned his ship around, he did something weird once again. He shot himself off and tried boarding my ship. But I shot him with my sniper rifle and he missed the board. Then I attempted to board myself, however I was too short, so I tried my hand on diplomacy. Hey buddy, can you, uh, can you drop the anchor please? Uh, that would be really appreciated, buddy. Uh, buddy, do not uh, drive away from me, buddy. I only want to be your friend. I don't think he wants me on board. Afterwards, we went broadside to broadside, but he got to jump on me. He laid into Sierra. I had no choice but to wait him out. That is when an opportunity presented itself. I quickly got on the cannon and I fired a single cannonball, which hit him directly. Now I had to work quickly in order to save my ship. I bailed the water like a madman, and that is when he tucked under the shack. The ship had sunk, and I was victorious. After bailing the water and repairing my ship, I retrieved the slag so I could sell it at the Reaper's hideout. After sailing across the map, I finally reached my destination, where I sold the flag and I was awarded a pretty hefty gold purse. Because things had been going so well, I decided to dive once again, and let me tell you, my next opponent was no pushover. I quickly lined him up and I opened him with a barrage of cannonballs, but unlike the rest, he fired back upon me, nearly killing me. However, I had gotten far more shots into him than he had me, so he was forced to back off. After mending our ships, I went back in. Unfortunately, I approached him from a bad angle, and he got a bunch of good shots on me. He even hit me with his sniper. He then rounded my ship, and he fired off chain shots which knocked down my sails. With multiple holes in my ship, and my sail knocked down, it seemed like I was done for. But fortunately for me, he had been going too fast, so he had no angle on me. I had to work quickly in order to reset this fight. I bailed the water onto a manageable level, and I raised my sails. My ship creaked loudly, but I could not give up. With milliseconds to spare, I bucketed my ship, saving her. I slapped the plank on the mast, and I lowered the sail, finally getting myself moving once again. You almost had me there, you bastard! God damn! At this point, day had turned to night, and we were still going at it. We continued to exchange cannon fire throughout the night, neither ship seeming to get an upper hand on each other. We had been fighting each other for so long that the sun had actually risen once again. Now at this point, I had no clue what he was doing. It looked like he was sailing off the map, but at the last moment, he dropped the anchor and he turned around. When he came back into the arena, I greeted him with another barrage of cannonballs, and one of them connected directly with his face, sending him to the ferry. Unfortunately, he had turned his wheel away from me, so I couldn't finish him off. So the battle continued. We fought back.
back and forth, it was a war of attrition. There was no clear winner in this situation. Then suddenly, he fired himself out and he boarded my ship. He quickly ran downstairs while munching on some pineapples and I chased after him. You see, he had a blunderbuss, so I couldn't get too close, but I had to get him off my ship before things got out of hand. Eventually, I forced him upstairs again and then is when I threw a final blunderbomb at his feet, which knocked him off Sierra. After that heated exchange, we went broadside to broadside once again. I managed to get some good shots at him, but he knocked down my sails. We were both in repair mode at this point, which gave me some much needed distance. Nightfall was approaching once again. We continued to battle each other throughout the night, trying to gain an upper hand by any means necessary. It was clear that this battle couldn't be won by conventional means, so when daylight broke, I gave it my all. I was a man possessed. My cannon shots were hitting the mark each and every time, and when the chance presented itself, I climbed into the cannon and I fired myself off. I caught his ladder and I heard his ship creaking, but he was watching the ladder. I couldn't get on. I just had to wait there. And that is when Sierra rammed his ship, causing even more water to flood in. However, I was also on timer now. If this took too long, Sierra would sink and the battle would be over. The creaking grew louder as more water poured in. He then threw a blunder bomb at the ladder which knocked me off. It was too late. His ship had taken too much water and she sunk. We exchanged DGs and I went back to Sierra in the nick of time and I bailed the water. I then grabbed the flag and for once I did not click on the BM button. He had fought well and defended his faction with honor and conviction. He had my respect. After that rather lengthy battle, I was low on supplies and my ship was in bad condition. I had to get the Reaper's hat out as fast as I could so I could sell the flag, but it was a problem. An emissary was rapidly approaching me. I couldn't take on another ship in this condition. I tried jumping from island to island as I was going along, trying to grab as much as I possibly could, but I was out of time. They were upon me. They were a duo sloop and they wasted no time in opening the fire upon me. I fired back with what I could, but it was a losing battle. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, a third ship burst out from below the waves. It was not a reaper, and he had just arrived in the nick of time. Unfortunately, he fired upon the wrong ship. No, it's not me, you idiot! The other guy! Jesus Christ, you're losing valuable time by fighting me. I'm on your team. Yes! Good job, you figured it out. Thank god he figured it out. But the duo sloop wasn't interested in that other reaper. They wanted me. They kept firing on me, and I fired back hitting them each time. However, they were two, and I was only one. Before I knew it, one of them was on my ship, and I was caught between a rock and a hard place. Water was flooding in, and my enemy was chasing me around. It was only a matter of time before I got caught. I was defeated. The mighty Sierra had sunk. Her guns had gone silent at last. And then my little tale comes to an end. Didn't exactly end the way I wanted it to, but the parallels between the first and the final fights were a little bit scary, weren't they? Anyway, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Leave a like, a comment, and perhaps consider subscribing. If you want to watch more of my videos, click the card on the screen right now. As always, this has been your friend Nobunaga, signing off.